Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today we have the Transformers Lore for Cybertron Trilogy Galactic Odyssey Collection Biosphera Autobot Clones. Um, this is... what's the GS number on this? Uh, I'm not sure. I thought these all had GS numbers on them. Hmm, I'm not seeing it. Well, anyway, <laughs> this is from the Galactus, uh, Galactic Odyssey Collection, which I have a couple of the other things from. I think I'm only missing one now, and that's the the Paradron Medics, which has, uh, what is it, Ratchet or Red Alert, and the, uh, the female medic bot. I can't remember her name either. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I always wanted these. I thought they looked really cool. I remember the originals as a kid. I never had them, but I had friends who did. So, <coughs> um, yeah. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of plastic ties on these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and release them from their prison. And then we will uh, do the rest of our review. So after a quick cut, I'll be right back. Oh, here's our map on the back here. There were five parts to the uh, the Galactic Odyssey collection. I have Micron. I have Botropolis. I don't have Dominus either. I need the Dominus one. This is Biosphera. I need Dominus and Peridron. And I think those are still readily available. I know this one's quite expensive. The Dominus one, I think, is going up in price as well. So, But I really wanted these two initially, and I do have those. But anyway, like I said, we'll be... Right back after a quick cut to release these guys from their plastic prison. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in here first. We've got our instructions, because even though they are clones, they are different. So I think one of them transforms into a jet and the other one transforms into a uh, car, race car. Uh, we've got our generic little piece of paper that always gets thrown away. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we have, ugh, come on, the uh, booklet for Biosphera. Is it a book? Oh, it's just a card. Okay. Biosphera it says uh, Beast Planet. Terrain Lush Jungle covered in dense wilderness and vast oceans. Sector Outer Rim 2. Coordinates Zone 3, District 44, 44. Aspect. Uh, aspect 5, I think. Unknown, uh, known hazards, harsh and scorching sun, torrential downpours, volcanoes, rival beast tribes, primary life forms, beast mode bots. Uh, and resources, Energon detected. Key data, early Cybertronian colonists adapted to jungle terrain by taking on beast alt modes. Descendants distrust those with vehicle alt modes. Interesting. That's cool. These are our vehicle guys on this one, so I'm not sure uh, exactly there's the inside of the box. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's cool. Um, yeah, after a quick cut, we'll get these guys out of their uh, plastic and be right back. And here are our Autobot clones in their alt modes. One is a race car, Autobot fast lane, and the other is a jet Autobot Cloudraker, or just Cloudraker. I guess they couldn't just trademark or copyright the name Fastlane, so he's Autobot Fastlane in the uh, instruction manual. So <laughs> now I don't have, I don't think these have a Generations selects number. I actually don't think they have a War for Cybertron trilogy number anywhere on the instructions or the box. So I'm gonna have to look and see how they fit in the whole scheme of the uh, War for Cybertron. I know the uh, the Galactic Odyssey collection is kind of its own thing. It was an Amazon exclusive. Um, but, yeah, here they are. This guy was ridiculously easy to transform. <laughs> like, super easy. This guy was a little trickier, and they both feel a little clunky and loose. But they look good. Like I said, they would make really good... Um, uh, army builders if if that were the case for the Autobot clones they would make great army builders I think I know there's a set of Decepticon clones too that were I want to say they were a Target exclusive I'm not sure 
Uh, I do want to go ahead and get those one of these days as well. Just just to fatten up my my army. They are on the small side. They're about the size of the Deluxe Class Bumblebee, which is smaller than most of the Deluxe Class figures. Um, they might be a little bit smaller in stature than the Bumblebee figure, but they look pretty cool. I'm going to have them up on my shelf in robot mode, of course, as most all of my Transformers are. Um, just because they, they take up less room standing than they do laying, laying on their bellies or backs or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, this has been my video for the Biosphere Clones, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Galactic Odyssey Collection, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that'll be all. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like my video, please leave a comment down below. Feel free to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you really like my video and you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do, and it really helped me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, until next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and if you go out, be safe. I got this stupid bronchitis, and <clears throat> I think my fiancé does, too. There's just a lot of colds and icks going around, so, yeah. Be clean, everybody. Bye. And here are our Biosphera Autobot clones, Fastlane and Cloudraker. Fastlane is the guy with the wheels, and Cloudraker is the guy with the wings. Whatever you want to call those. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, as I am still fighting my bronchitis. Uh, unfortunately, these guys don't get any guns or anything. They're just they're just what you see. Um, it would be nice if they had guns. They do have the uh, you know generic the right sized hands to hold any of the other battle masters, weapon masters. Um, they don't have the foot pegs for uh the uh weaponizers but that's okay <laughs> they don't need much they don't have any extra pegs really except for their hands it looks like so they just get to they're just grunts and that's what they'll be in my autobot army i almost wish that i had gotten a couple of these because they would make good army building characters even if they're not um but yeah let's look at their Articulation, we got full swivel on a ball-jointed shoulder. Um, we got full swivel on a ball-jointed elbow. And then we got nothing for hand movement. Except in and out for transformation. We don't have waist swivel, unfortunately. We can do the splits. Oh wow, we can do the super splits. <laughs> <clears throat> they are on ball joints as well. Um, no, th oh, there is a thigh. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a thigh swivel. We got knee joints, and then you can make a cool kicking motion. But yeah, there's a no ankle tilt on this guy. And then I'm guessing that this other guy is made in such a way that he gets the same articulation. He gets to move his hands. Oh wait, he gets to move his forward too. His arms forward, so he's got an ab <sighs> front flex. <laughs> That's part of the transformation. Um, yeah, he's got all the same. He can turn his head. This guy turn his head, except he's got this big spoiler on the back of his head, which looks kind of silly, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, yeah, same articulation otherwise, so we're good on that. Uh, actually, he can't fold his legs in until you pull these wings out, so he's missing that uh, extra step with his foot. So, yeah, but that's these two characters. We're going to go ahead and take a short break and transform them into their alt modes. And, uh, oh, now they don't want to stand up. <laughs> we'll be right back.